Hey everybody, this is Andy here from We All Around Gaming, coming at you with a new Let's Play. This time, I'm going to be completing The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So just kind of a little bit about this game. Uh, this game came out in 1992. This was kind of like, in my opinion, like the first foray into uh, like a, a reasonable Zelda game. I, I gotta be 100% honest. I've played the original Zelda, Legend of Zelda and I've played uh, uh, Link's Adventure, Zelda 2. Mm. I think for their time they were really good. I think games couldn't be very long due to memory constraints so they had to make the games incredibly difficult. But, uh, and, and, and that's exactly what they did with those two games. But I think with the Super Nintendo coming out, I think that they were able to make the Zelda game that they wanted. Like, this one is a good one. It's not so cryptic that it's terrible, like the original one. I, mean, I shouldn't call the first one terrible. I'm sure I'll do a let's play, a blind let's play of it someday. Because, to be honest, I've played it, but I've never beaten it. It's just too cryptic. I'm saying that as a uh, 90s child. So anyway, so uh, just just a little bit about this game. I've played this game before. I have never been able to beat it. It's a great game, but it's a long game too. And uh, I just have never been able to beat it. I remember a couple summers ago, I got really close to beating it. But I just, another game caught my interest. And I started playing that. I think it was Fallout uh, 4, if I remember correctly. It's like 2015. But anyways, this time, I'm going to beat it. I'm gonna beat it. It's gonna be a link to my past. I need to beat this game. Okay, so I kind of I already set up a profile here, and I already have a test profile. I just wanted to get used to the controls again because help me, please help me. I'm a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aganim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. Da, 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 da. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Handy, I'm out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. I'll miss doing the voices. This is like the first game I did in a while where uh, I could do the voices. Let's just... Oh, I didn't need those. But anyways... Let's just go over here. You got the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way to the darkness. Okay. So this is a kind of like, this is a great game. It uh, really shows off what the Super Nintendo was capable of, even in its early life. So let's see. Let's get some. You can. He's pretty damn strong. You can pick up bushes, man. I usually have to get a chainsaw on a pickup truck to do this. But one thing that... I don't like about this game is uh, Link has purple or pink hair. Yeah, never liked that. I, 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 it has something to do with the color palette constraints, if I remember correctly. Oh, I did not need that. Let's keep going. But yeah, I'm super excited for this Let's Play. Uh, the, the last one, Cubix, was just a game that I played as a childhood that... Help me, I'm in the dungeon of the castle. I know there is a hidden path from outside of the castle to the garden inside. There is. This path looks like it leads to it. Oh, there it is! Look at this 3D perspective. It's pretty cool. It's like a bird's eye. And the first time I played this game, like I didn't really get it. I was like, wow, this looks terrible. But it, it, but this is the best they could do back then. It looks pretty good. So here's your father. Uh, Andy, I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield. And listen, you can focus power in the blade. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Andy, you can do it. Say the Princess Zelda is your... She's my what? So now you get your sword, and this is the t technique, the Super Smash Brothers Recovery, I guess it's called. I don't know. Oh, shoot! I'm trying to get used to this D-pad controls, man. And you can kind of, like, poke things with it, too, but... Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get used to the D-pad. Oh, magic! 
a blue ruby. So you can light this uh, using the Y button. There you go. I was hoping to get something for that. But anyways, yeah. So this is this is in my opinion what I believe they wanted the, the original Zelda to be. But they just couldn't get it to this because of hardware limitations. And I was actually uh, look, recently looking up, uh, um, oh, I need that, like the Metacritic order of like the Zelda games, and I was surprised. That's what really inspired me to do this game, because like I said, I, I the reason I haven't been posting a lot lately is because I'm playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, and uh, yeah, so uh, um, I was surprised that Link to the Past got such high regards. That's what really inspired me to do it because basically what I want to do is like I'm in a huge Zelda mood. And don't hold me to this, but basically what I want to do is beat every single Zelda game on this channel. And I decided so things like uh, um, Link's Awakening that like have like a port or like the Zelda Legend of Zelda like Wind Waker HD. I uh, um, want to like. I don't have to beat those twice, is what I'm saying. Uh, I just want to beat, like, pretty much every single game. and Because, I'm going to be honest, like, I, I personally prefer the ports. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, a huge nostalgic, like, oh, yeah. So this is our first dungeon. And to be quite honest with you, not I'm sure we got to get through that door somehow. Usually when they're blocked like that, it's because you're not supposed to go there. See if we have a map. Kinda. Okay, so there's five floors. Okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna finagle around, I guess. I forgot where she said she was. Oh, shoot. If you hit these guys right before they come near, you can get them. And by the way, people, I am not a retro uh, game is kind of guy. Uh,. I don't know, if you look back at my past Let's Play, I don't think I've... This, I think this is the first retro... I guess... I don't know. Do you consider Pokemon Crystal uh, retro? I don't know. Gosh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I gotta get used to that. Oh, wasn't I already here? Wasn't this the... That was the first floor I was in. Oh, shoot. That spamming, like, one thing I like about this game is spamming is not rewarded. Oh, shoot. There we go. And I didn't get a single heart for that? Wow. Spamming is not rewarded. You can't just do that. Oh, so there's a throne. But there's no one here. The room is empty. I need health. So I guess I'm kind of playing this game like kind of half blind. Like I have played before, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember almost anything about this game. Okay, so usually in Zelda dungeons, it pays to go to either the highest floor you can or uh, the uh, lowest floor that you can. So let's, let's try to do that. Okay, come on, give me some health here. Come on, game, help me out here. I know the games back in the day had to be harder. They're like. Help me out here. Can I can I get some help here? Let's go here. I, I think this is the first time I've like played a game. Oh shoot. Where like I'm not like I don't know it like the back of my hand. Well, not my first time ever, but the first time playing on my channel. So we'll see how this goes. It could be fun. I, I think that the uh the uh videos are going to be kind of longer. I think Legend of Zelda games need to be longer. Because some of the dungeons, like, it just sucks, like, getting 15 minutes in and then, like, oh, really? Now I have to end it? I was just going against my own philosophy there. Just try to get to it as low as you can, usually. Yeah. And you'll be rewarded. I guarantee you there's a small key in here. Definitely, yeah. Oh, he has a small key. Oh, and there's the, the, the map. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. 
One of the maps in the original Zelda game is a swastika, man. It's creepy. Okay, let's see. Alright, so where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm that blinking dot in the B1. Okay. So let, let's explore B1. Let's see what happens. Gosh, I keep hitting the... I feel like that should be the B button because for some reason. It's probably because I'm used to like... Uh, um, yeah! I'm used to uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I, I like we're, I'm playing on an Xbox 360 controller because I'm playing on an emulator. But uh... oh shoot! Oh my god! That motherfucker keeps getting hit. Oh damn! I just said my one F word for the whole series. Ugh. I've been hanging around pe bad people lately who do that. Sometimes you can push these. You know, let's see. Okay. No. See, I, like, Zelda, ah, keep hitting that button. Zelda veterans like myself are know to try everything. Because if there's something you can do in the game, they have thought about it. That's one thing I love about Zelda games is they're so thorough. Oh, shoot. Especially, uh, like, Breath of the Wild and, like, Tears of the Kingdom. Those games are thorough. So, we don't have any small keys, so we can't get in there. But now we're cage match with Purple Man. Purple, the destroyer of worlds. There we go. What's in here? The boomerang! Okay, so like most Zelda games, you can select your uh, your items here and then use it. There we go. And like every dungeon has an item. It's just fun. So let me go up here. I love that Zelda jingle. Okay. Yeah, keep going lower. B2. Now we're going to B3. Woo! What does a boomerang do to... The oh, sh... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I wanted to hit the boomerang with that guy, but... Uh, oh, there's about to be a fight here. Is oh, look. Gosh! <sighs> keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, I did it again. I'm literally just talking about hitting the wrong button and then I hit the wrong button. Look, I hit the right button that time. Oh! Woohoo! You got the big key. Who's this brown-haired woman? Thank you, Andy. I had a feeling you were getting close. Andy, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with the strong magical powers. Do you understand? Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Okay, so what, one of the things... Uh, one of the things they, they don't like kind of say in this game is... How did, how is a, a small child who's probably never picked up a sword before has this kind of ability to, like, fight off soldiers in the castle? Like, I've been to the Buckingham Palace before. You, you, dude, you, you'd be lucky to take out one of those guys. But anyways, let's get to the first floor, like she said. See, doesn't it pay off in Zelda games to just immediately try to get either as low or as high as you can? Stay high, kids. You can jump off uh, ledges like that. Okay. I'm just so excited to beat this game. This is always more like... No, it's not like a huge regret that I've had in my life, but it's a regret that I've had in my life. Okay, show us where this... Uh, 
show us where this uh we're on the first floor so show us where this uh secret oh man <laughs> every time i do that i should have to do like i should have to do like five push-ups i won't do that anymore fingers keep the d-pad okay this is like the worst controller to play the d-pad on the xbox 3 360 controller i think is pretty infamously awful pretty famous for being awful can we go here no are we still on the first floor See, one of the things too about these games is that you look, it's hard to see, it's impossible to see under there, like the perspective. It's kind of annoying. But, anyways, I'm just excited to beat this game. There's secret pass in the throne that leads to sanctuary. I'm sure the old map man will help. The old man there will help us. Gosh, I can't talk. Gosh, I, I went to work today. It was pretty cool. So, I'm like, just doing this after work, so. I'm just having a good time. It's like, this is all good fun. But, anyways, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell this story for a while. I'm excited to beat this game. Like I just, I just said, uh, one of the regrets I've had is I just always wanted to beat this game, and every Zelda game. Because I, one time someone made fun of me because I really had, I had pretty much never beat a 2D Zelda game besides the Minish Cap. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. That's convenient. If you're like a royal leader or something, you definitely need to have some sort of escape or secret passage. I mean, I've seen too many movies where they didn't have that. Gosh, if I... Oh my god. I'm gonna, somebody keep a counter and tell me how many push-ups I owe. Oh, there's five. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, there's another five. That's ten. Ugh. I hate when I do that. I'm, I'm a completionist. I have to light every single one. Okay, I guess you can't light every single one. I had to, like, look down at the controller. Like, not nah, do it again. I don't want to do push ups. Oh, that reminds me, man. I don't know if I'm ever going to show my face on camera. I don't know why people do that. I, I do nowadays, like, that, that's the scary thing nowadays is like, you can, you can say something now that was like not offensive now, but will be like offensive, uh, like 50 years from now. I just don't know if I'm quite down for that yet, you know. Okay, I think I'm starting to get con buttons uh, down. So there we go. Come on. But man, this D-pad's so slippery. This is such a poopy controller to be using for this. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to Sanctuary. Let's be careful. I agree. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Ooh. It's like a maze in here. Well, it's like this. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, it's up here. Should have guessed. Ooh, there's some light. Oh, there we go. I guess you had to. I guess I got lucky there. Ooh. Leave me alone. Oh, the classic Zelda. The bombable wall. I don't have any bombs, so I can't really do that, but... Damn, dude, that, that guy didn't even give me a chance. I guess he gave me 20 rupees for my trouble, but... 
that that was crazy. They're handing out money like candy in this game. You know what? Go tell your friends that I hate you. That just reminds me. I <laughs> I found a centipede in my basement a couple of days ago, and I I'm not gonna lie, I tortured it. But I didn't let it live. I was thinking about doing that, so I'd go tell the friends. But uh, we had like this. Sanctuary sure just behind the door. Pull the switch over there. We had this like um hippie bug spray that's like not bad for the environment. We got it for free, so. But uh, uh, we did that. It actually tortures those bugs. But anyways, Princess Zelda, you're safe. Is this your doing, Andy? Yes, it was Andy who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Andy, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon that, the only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map, but watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna take your shit first. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, heart container. There we go. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll just explain a few things. So you know, all that information up there, the HUD. There's the heart. How many keys you have? How many arrows? How many bombs? Those arrows. Ooh, they kind of suspiciously don't look like arrows. Oh, dude, I cannot unsee that. I have never noticed that before. So there's bombs and rupees, your current item and your magic bar. So we're at 22 minutes here. I think this is a good place to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And leave a comment. Leave a like. Appreciate it.